All of us here at CBS just shocked to hear that our own Dave Letterman was reportedly being blackmailed by a CBS employee who said that he had proof that Dave was having affairs with employees at the Late Show. A shocking announcement last night. The big headline today for the Late Show with David Letterman should have been that for the first time in over 15 years since the 94 Winter Games at Lillehammer, his biggest ratings gap over The Tonight Show, but instead he wakes to headlines like this. I had sex with staff and other various papers here around the country that uh, are going to lead with this story today. It is big. Shocking news. Yes, and that is also where we begin this morning with the story of sex and alleged extortion. A CBS producer is due in court this morning to face charges of trying to blackmail David Letterman, who told the story himself on last night's Late Show. CBS News correspondent Kelly Wallace has the details. Kelly, good morning. Good morning, Maggie. It wasn't a comedy sketch, but an extraordinary 10-minute revelation last night by David Letterman here at the Ed Sullivan Theater. He told his audience he had allegedly been the victim of attempted blackmail. This whole thing has been quite scary. Uh, I had to go downtown to the uh, testify before the grand jury. Yeah. And uh, I had to tell them how I, I was disturbed by this. I was worried for myself. I was worried for my family. Uh, I, f I felt menaced by this. It was a monologue yeah. unlike yeah. any other for the late night funny man. David Letterman to told his audience he had been blackmailed and, and then uh, made a remarkable uh, personal admission. I have uh, had sex with women who work for me on this show. His alleged blackmailer, a 20-year-plus veteran of CBS News, 48 Hours producer Joe Halderman. He was taken into custody yesterday by two plainclothes police officers outside the CBS News Broadcast Center. Halderman, 51, is accused of demanding $2 million from Letterman in exchange for not going public with details of the comedian's private life. Uh, I have a little story that I would like to tell you and uh, the home viewers as well. Do you About think? three weeks ago, during the first week of September, Letterman said he found a package in the back of his car at his Connecticut home. It was from someone who claimed to know about his sexual relationships with women on the Late Show staff. There seems to be quite a lot of terrible stuff he knows about. <laughs> and he's going to put it into a, a movie uh, unless I give him some money. Letterman and his attorney arranged to meet the alleged extortionist. Uh, it turns out, yes, in fact, he wants a, a large sum of money or he's going to produce this uh, screenplay of all the terrible things that I do. A short time later, Letterman and his attorney contacted the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, which advised him to call another meeting with the alleged extortionist. And, and the question was posed, now, do you, are you aware that this is serious? This is a, 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 could be a crime? And, you know, is there, no, no, it's fine. That led to a sting operation, which included Letterman writing a phony $2 million check to the alleged extortionist. It's, uh, it's been a very bizarre experience. Uh, I feel like I need to protect these people. I need to certainly protect my family. I need to protect myself, uh, hope to protect my job. What's unclear is exactly when the affairs took place. Letterman married his longtime girlfriend of 20 plus years in March. They have a six year old son, Harry. In a statement, CBS News said, CBS was made aware of an ongoing police investigation involving David Letterman and an employee at 48 Hours who was subsequently arrested yesterday on charges of attempted grand larceny in the first degree. CBS is cooperating fully with the authorities, and the employee has been suspended pending the results of the investigation. Mr. Letterman addressed the issue during the show's broadcast last night, and we believe his comments speak for themselves. Halderman, who's an award-winning journalist who has covered wars, was held without bail last night and will be in court this morning. The district attorney's office plans a news conference later today where more details about this case are expected to be released. Maggie? Kelly Wallace in Manhattan. Thank you, Kelly. Let's bring in CBS News legal analyst Lisa Bloom. Lisa, good morning. Good morning. Do you think Dave was smart to go public with this, to go on the offensive and get out in front of this problem? Absolutely. I think he had to do that, Maggie. Once this matter went in front of a grand jury, there's at least a dozen citizens who are getting wind of the allegations. Once it's in the district attorney's hands, there's always the possibility of leaks. And so he had to get out there first. He had to tell the story. He had to acknowledge uh, his part in it. He had to acknowledge all of the allegations that he's making. I think he had to do what he did. Explain the grand jury thing. Why would they choose a grand jury versus a regular trial for this, Lisa? 
Well, a, a grand jury is generally a secret proceeding. Everyone is sworn to keep all of the matters before the grand jury confidential. That doesn't necessarily always happen, especially in a high-profile case. But the district attorney puts all of the allegations, all of the evidence in front of the grand jury, and then they can choose to come back with an indictment. Generally, they do. They will generally return an indictment when a prosecutor asks for it. And if the defendant is convicted, what will he face? Well, he's looking at anywhere from nine to up to 15 years behind bars for attempted grand larceny. Larceny is just another word for stealing, taking the property of another wrongfully, converting it to one's own use. If these allegations are proven, if the sting was indeed successful, where the phony $2 million check was given to him and he accepted it, thinking it was an exchange for his blackmail demands, and the district attorney has a pretty good case against him. What do you think David Letterman has to worry about now? I'm sure he's hoping that this has a short shelf life and that it'll just go away. I'm sure he does. Clearly, as a major celebrity, his reputation is very important to him. And so by getting these allegations out first on his own show, in his own way, he's hoping to control the story. I'm sure he's hoping it'll be a short story, uh, a, a brief uh, blip in the news cycle. We'll see as the allegations unfold and as the facts unfold whether or not that's true. But I'm sure his reputation is very, very important to him. Lisa Bloom, thank you as always. Thank you.